Alright, I got some time on my hands to make the 500 mile Sondor's Rockstar review as promised. So, first I want to tell you a little bit about my bike. Um, I want to show you some of the upgrades I did and uh, I want to show you why it's missing its rear tire. Uh, my last video I uh, was crossing some streams and uh, wanted to be the first guy to make an e-bike video on how to cross a stream and it got uh, completely um, off track and uh, uh, but I still put it out because um, it's a lot of work so first order of business we're going to get a shot of the odometer make sure the bike is on my bike is in my uh, one person bike working on a contraption that I built and uh, this doesn't fall on me when I'm working on it okay like I said this is my uh, homemade uh, straps and a little stand I made to hold it up uh, especially useful when you need to lube the chain uh, yes my bike is that dirty and uh, I will wash it when I'm ready to wash it uh, I understand there's uh, maintenance benefits but uh, it cleans up nice and it'll look good again but um, I was so eager to just get this resolved so this is from my last video I bent this single uh, cog here and um, I think it's called a freewheel is what I've learned from the team at Sondors so I thought it was great that I could uh, do my review and also uh, my first interaction with Sondors so uh, it was great um, shout out to the uh, uh, technical support team and the customer service team um, had my uh, the, the replacement part on its way um, within minutes and uh, I got a shipping notice that it's going to be sent um, maybe arrive as soon as Monday and I hope so because that's why it's taken apart I just want to get it put back together so I can go ride. I've been like jonesing all week and um, you know I, I miss it. Okay so this is going to be upgrade table and uh, here's everything that I uh, have upgraded on my bike. Front bars, this, the, uh, the handlebar or stem and then uh, the factory rear shock, the factory shock, and then a attempt at making the DNM burner work, and it didn't. Okay, first thing I want to show you is the uh, headset and handlebar, and I chose those because of Simple Pleasure Mountain Bike. He's on YouTube. He was the one that uh, uh, I used to um, upgrade my bike and feel safe about it. So uh, thanks to Simple Pleasures. Also, I wanted to say um, these are much wider than the uh, factory ones. Um, and for my big ham hands, uh, I was able to uh, move this stuff out. Uh, when I was riding, sometimes I would bump uh, the throttle, uh, press a gear or um, similar uh, uh, over bumps and jostling. So I was able to spread that out and now I have plenty of room to, uh, to grab at this. And I love the geometry. I like my arms being out wider. It just feels more aggressive. Like so I went with the uh, Rock Shock Lyric and uh, I'm running four tokens in there. Um, I'm a big guy, 6'1", 220 pounds. Matt Taylor, the Rock Shock Lyric, and couldn't be happier. So it's got the debonair dampening system. I'm running four tokens and I think 110 psi. So um, bigger guy, and uh, that's what uh, works for me. 
and uh, I couldn't be happier. It uh, changed the whole feel of the bike. So let's go on to the rear shock. Now this is my third shock on this bike. So the stock shock was this air shock from DNM and it was adjustable, had a lockout, which I don't think you need on, a pot, on an e-bike, by the way. Uh, don't let me get off to, uh, subject. Anyways, um, I got another DNM, let's just call this the torch. So uh, what happened was uh, I just didn't feel right with this uh, air shock at my weight and um, how I plan to ride the bike, which is, you know, crazy. So um, when I would hit a jump or go through heavy bumps, it sounded like metal on metal. And I got a little kind of chip right there. So I felt like I was bottoming out. And um, Simple Pleasures Mountain Bike uh, recommended we get something like this. So you want a 200 millimeter eye hole. And I love the reservoir, and it looks cool, and uh, two adjustments, but um, has a 550 pound spring, and um, I'm just too big for that. So I found this torch. The torch is a 750 pound spring. So that's holding it. Um, that's, or you know what I mean? That's holding it. Uh, I can hit. Uh, almost any kind of jump. I mean, I don't go too crazy, but I'm just saying uh, the, the, the terrain I'm choosing to ride over is, is uh, it's holding up. Or what's he going to say about the bike? All right, review time. I've had this bike four months. I've put it through hell. I've uh, got 538 miles on it, and um, I just want to tell you, this bike's never let me down. I've never been stranded. I've never had the battery run out. Um, I've never had a been in position where I'm, you know, dragging the bike two, three, four, ten miles. And um, just the incident with the branch, uh, which is my fault, or the branches. Uh, it's the only time the bike uh, ever gave me an issue, and um, I'm glad it was documented because, um, you know, it's an unfortunate thing, but it happens. Uh, Sondor's customer service and technical support uh, had the part out to me. Literally, as soon as I hung up the phone, got an email that the part's coming. Then um, a day or two, I think the day after, uh, tracking number. And so it should be here Monday, and I can't wait. Um, I've been uh, without the bike for about a week, so um, I'm kind of jonesing. But anyways, never let me down, and um, I've had a blast on it. I've had to uh, put uh, additional um, cost into the suspension, which uh, I was happy to do. Um, if you were 150 pounds or, um, you know, I, I don't know what the weight is, but I was too heavy for what came with the bike. And um, I was happy to put the additional funds into the bike uh, to make it uh, custom to the way I want to ride it and um, the things I want to do in it. So um, uh, I'm not trying to be a um, YouTuber. And I'm not, uh, don't want anything free. Um, I'm just saying uh, right now, if you're thinking about getting a rock star, get a freaking rock star. Um, this thing rules. Uh, it's so fun. I made a video how versatile it is. Um, and uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, For the price of this bike, you couldn't build a better bike, okay? So a motor and a battery is a thousand bucks retail, you know? And then for two thousand bucks, you gotta come up with the rest of the bike. So, you know, oh, I'm building a bike, I'm getting, you know, 
Fox 40s. Okay, let's add that up. You got a thousand into the motor and battery and some Fox 40s. Great, you're at uh, 23. You got uh, $700 to build a bike. Um, sure, yeah, I'll get, um, you know, the Fox so-and-so in the rear. Okay, that's 400 bucks. So uh, I think you can get a seat and maybe a handlebar okay but you're gonna need all the rest of your bike point is this thing's a bargain man um, for for three thousand bucks are you kidding me like honestly I've put less than a thousand into it and it's totally fine for me uh, the way I want to ride it but um, you can't build a better bike for three thousand bucks so, again, I don't work for YouTube or Sondors, but um, get your name, on, go put your name on the list, because it's just going to get longer after this video, but uh, get on the list, and, and look, there's a lot of complaints right now online about uh, how Sondors uh, can't ship bikes, and um, I want to talk to you about that. There's this uh, global pandemic happened. Uh, we've been living in it almost two years. And uh, there's a shortage of shipping containers in, in the Asian market. Okay. There's um, a line of cargo ships from uh, the Port of LA, which is San Pedro area, that extends down to Huntington Beach, California. Okay. So the whole West Coast is cargo ship, cargo ship, cargo ship, cargo ship. The uh, port there is uh, ran by unions, and with COVID, they had to do their precaution, but uh, union-style st uh, employment contracts, you can't just uh, surge workers in, get all the stuff unloaded, and then surge them out, not with a union. And that's, no, uh, that's not for or against unions. I'm just saying it is what it is. And, um, then there's the COVID, how it affected trucking in this country, and uh, that's a huge uh, port uh, of LA, and they are short truckers, so they don't even have the trucks, let alone the cargo ships, let alone the staff, and it's, it's a chain reaction, okay? So there's a lot of anger being shed or sort of shade uh, uh, sent to Sondors or talking about Sondors, Sondors as a company, and uh, I, I don't think that's fair at all because um, number one, they don't make shipping containers, um, and I don't think they uh, should go into business making shipping containers or cargo ships or ports or solve labor or solve the trucking or solve the pandemic. So give them a break online, guys. Your bike's coming. It's probably sitting out there in line, but, um, okay. So it's been 538 miles. I wonder what he's going to say. Is he going to complain? Is he going to say it needs this, it needs that? Or is he going to say he loves it? Well, after setting the bike up, for me, uh, it's been awesome. It's a machine, okay? So, like I said, it's never broke on me except that um, rear cassette bend and um, still got me home. Didn't have to pedal. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, pedal, you know, unassisted. Just couldn't use those couple gears and um, drove it through all that water and uh, every other trail that I haven't uh, taped, it's made it. It's, it's always got me home. Um, I haven't had any problems with anything uh, on the bike. And I do go around and uh, tighten things. Uh, I, I uh, lost a couple screws up here. And it was my fault for not uh, making sure that uh, everything was tight. Um, so I have some replacement screws there, and then, um, this is 
my YouTube, uh, sorry, this is my uh, trying to be a YouTube guy, the 500 mile review. So, see this bad boy? You can fit so much fun on here. Uh, so I've had the bike 538 miles. The bike's never let me down as far as stranding me with no battery or uh, a bike I couldn't push or carry or, uh, you know, had to drag. That has never happened. The uh, incident uh, with me crossing the river was the only time the bike broke and it's completely out of warranty. I'm pretty sure after they've seen the video, this bike is uh, definitely out of warranty. But, um, you know, it's my bike, and uh, I will beat it and ride it uh, like, I, like I want to. But I do love it. I want, I want to say that right now. Um, never let me down. Uh, editing this is going to blow. So that wraps it up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do the luge as soon as my bike is put back together. I'm going to film the whole thing. I'm going to survive. And um, maybe uh, next weekend I'll be able to do that. So uh, watch my, for my new uh, Sondars versus the Luge video coming soon. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps the person wondering if they should get this bike. That's true.